Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today is going to be mostly us preparing the model for, you know, high poly, which is the third part. So what we're going to do right now is delete, like, some of the extra copies of the Spider-Man photo. And what we're going to do, um, I kind of forgot this in the last episode, I just thought of it. We were actually going to first make these bigger fingers out of cylinders first before we get into other things. So let's just do that quickly. So what we're going to do is just move it here. What we're going to do is just pretty much make this big finger and make it, you know, look right. So we're going to return back on the transparency mode so we can make this, you know, as accurate as we can get. Okay, let's give it a wrap. So what we're going to do today is something different than what we thought you we were going to do this episode. So this episode is actually going to be a lot shorter. It's not really like we need to do a lot for, you know, this model. It's actually a lot easier than a lot of models we did because it has more defined shapes and the high poly really just comes in as, you know, a smaller part. But what we're really doing for this episode is more or less scaling everything to prepare for the high poly model. So let's first set everything here. And we have the shapes down, it's just we need to look at it from a 3D perspective. So really the 3D perspective comes in if the shape is like extraordinarily wide or if the shape just doesn't feel right. But this um, photo also does something kind of weird, is how it does the fingers. So what we're really going to do with the fingers is angle them outwards. This is because if you see here in the photo, his fingers are angled outwards. So what we're going to do is angle these fingers outwards and move them up through the hand. We're going to just duplicate this because we did accidentally get rid of the one in the back. So the reason I'm angling them is because, let's, if, let me just do this quickly. The thing in the photo, if you look at it, is how it's uh, on somewhat of an angle. He's holding his hand out like this. So that's kind of the angle that he was kind of going for. Now, as you can see, it does actually look pretty big. So what we're going to do, shrink them down. So if this is going to be like this, then this is going to be this. This is going to be like this. Just move. We don't end in position. Next is, look at the, we're going to look at the model and try to, you know, make things a lot bigger. Like these feet right here. Not, not like the foot. The like, ankle part. So what we're going to do is increase that and make it, you know, wider. This is just to match, you know, how big his legs are. We're, we're also going to make these a little bit wider and basically keep that, you know, leg size here. What we're really looking for for the rest of this video is more or less making everything you look more 3D. So what we're going to do is make his legs look better, move his, move part of his legs back because as you can see here, it's kind of unaligned. So we're going to just move these and align them with what we have. We're just going to Move it here, and then move this right here. But also far, it doesn't really have a lot of issues. Probably one thing we might need to fix later on during the high poly is that neck piece. We actually are going to use, since last episode I said we didn't really need it, we're going to do it now. Which is not really going to be a lot, it's only going to be like a tiny cube that we all use to, you know, rotate the model like this. And pretty much move it here. To give that neck illusion, it's not really needed, but it will make the model, you know, look more human. And I'm pretty sure this video is a lot shorter. You can expect that this series is going to be a lot shorter for the first two parts. The next part might be a lot longer. But that's really all we have to do for the 3D viewpoint and preparing the model for high poly. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe out there. Um, like, subscribe, and comment. And bye.